if some people can just speak to the mountain before calling the doctor, they will have been alive today. Do you understand what I mean? If they can speak to the mountain before calling the doctor, they will have been alive today. Because some people, all they know is doctor. They don't know how to take authority. They don't know how to stand in faith and resist. So when symptoms come on them, they think doctor. Doctor himself is confused. He needs help. He needs help. Because now the doctor can come thinking it's malaria and give you malaria medication for something that malaria medication is against. And there's confusion in your body and you're gone. But if you took authority and spoke to the mountain, in the name of Jesus, you symptom, I speak to you now. This body has been bought with a price. You have no right over this body. The life of God is at work in this body. He bore my griefs. He carried my sorrow. The chastisement of my peace it was upon him. By his stripes, I am healed. And Jesus healed them all. Jesus, the healer, lives in this body. Body respond to the healing power of God. If you speak to the mountain if you shall say to this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast to the sea and shall not doubt in your heart but shall believe that the things you say shall come to pass you shall have what you say you speak to the mountain don't speak to the doctor first when you take charge over the mountain the influence of your prayer even if the doctor is to come will affect the doctor and clear him from confusion so by the time the doctor is coming, you have taken charge of the environment. You have exited Satan from the situation. So now the situation is helpless. So the doctor can now know what to do and fix it and you'll be alive. So if only you know how to speak to the mountain, many people that are dead today will have been alive. Moreover, you know when you start speaking to the mountain, your mind becomes strong. When you start speaking the word of God, hope comes alive. Hope comes alive. And when your mind becomes strong, your mind controls your body. Because the Bible tells us, a man's, the, a man's mind shall sustain his infirmity. If in your mind you refuse to give up, your body will hang in there. That's why I see some people, they are almost like vegetables in the hospital. But their mind refuses to give up. So their body is just hanging there. Nothing is functioning in the body. But the mind has refused to quit. See, that's why when you feed your mind the word of God, it is difficult for anything to, to push you out of life. I'm telling you the truth. When you feed the, your mind the word of God, your mind becomes so dogged about winning, it keeps winning. It just keeps winning. No matter the pressure, you don't quit. It just keeps winning. Am I talking to somebody here? So that's why you've got to renew your mind with the word of God. Time invested in meditating and learning the word of God is never time wasted. Never. I'm telling you the truth. If you can watch Telemundo for three hours, if you can watch Simirisi, Simirisi, Simirisi in their movie for six hours, my brother, you can stay in the world for 24 hours. The world will benefit, uh, benefit you eternally than Telemundo. Is it Mundo or Mundo? It will benefit you more than what do they call that Indian channel? Z World. Z -world. You have no value for your life. That's why you can spend endless hours on Z World, but you come to Bible study, 30 minutes, you're already checking time. You have no value for your life. People that want to win are not lazy where the word of God is concerned. Because the word of God is the way to victory. The word of God is the light that sharp darkness cannot withstand. So when you're full of the word, you're full of light. And when you're full of light, darkness cannot withstand you. Am I talking to somebody here? So let the word of Christ dwell in you. Be full of the word. Be full of the word so you can live in victory, so you can reign in victory, so you can triumph over the circumstances of this world. The reason why you always think of your doctor is because your mind is strongly programmed in a particular direction of your life. You don't believe that prayer can heal you. You don't believe that God heals sickness. You believe that sickness is a natural condition. So why talk to God about it? 
And if you program your mind in a particular direction, that is the direction in which your mind will go. Your mind will only go, always go in the area of your predominant thoughts. Some people, when it comes to their finances, that is how they are. If their finances are going down, they start crying. Oh, how am I going to survive? And they start running around. Who can help me? Who can help me? Instead of standing in faith and speaking to the mountain, you speak to your finances. You speak to your situation. And you begin to declare the word of God. And then you begin to pray in the spirit and speak in tongues. And expect the Holy Ghost to show you what way. There are, there are, earth has not created any problem that does not have heavenly solutions. Earth has never and will never create any problem that does not have a heavenly solution. Before earth created a problem, heaven already prepared a solution. So if you can only learn to pray in the spirit, walk in the spirit, listen to the spirit, you will win in every circumstance of life. It doesn't matter how complicated the problem, you will always have a solution to that problem. Far back in those days, Mama and I, when we were still struggling financially and all that, we used to just sit down in the middle of our bed, on top of our bed, in the middle, we'll sit down together there. We'll spread out paper and write down all our financial challenges. Write out all the things we are struggling with. And then we'll pray in the spirit. We will speak to them one by one. We will speak to them. In our mind, we will swallow them. And in our mind, we'll make them small. We will speak to them in our mind. And we will see that they have become nothing. Few weeks after, when we come back to the same bed and we sit there, we will be thinking that they are already taken care of. That's how we kept winning. We kept winning and that's how we are still winning. That's how we're still winning. We just sit down, write all of them and speak to them. Number one, we speak to you, this mountain. Be removed. We did that over and over until we came out from under and overcame and grew and we're still growing. Some of you don't know how to speak to things. You get overwhelmed. You have problem. You have problem. They, they overwhelm you. You start running around from pillar to post. Sit down! Sit down. No human being has solution to your problems. There are too many. Even if we want to help you, where do we start from? When I discovered that no man can really solve my problems, I forgot man, I face God. Because if I come to you today, you solve it. When, who, will I come tomorrow, next, tomorrow, next? Problems will keep coming. So you must learn how to take care of them by yourself. All this going around, you make yourself a nuisance. You lose value before men. And you bring a lot of insults to yourself that reduce your identity from who you are to a victim. Sit down and talk to yourself. Tell yourself, this thing is not too much. I'm bigger than you. If I shall say to this mountain, mountain, come here, sit down. I speak to you. Am I talking to somebody here? Yeah. And when you are speaking to them, your mind is consuming them. Your mind swallows it. Suddenly becomes small. It diminishes. I'm telling you how to walk in victory and how to live a victorious life. If I'm teaching good this morning, can I have a good amen? amen. 